Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, welcome to this very short video. I just really want to tell you guys what's really happening with me here. First, I have to begin with my health. Uh, since I came here, I have uh, you not know, been feeling bad. Like, I mean, I've not been feeling well. And there are reasons for that. Uh, my doctor told me that I am going to apparently survive traveling to Qatar and then returning without going to the hospital. But I think uh, that was not the case. I felt ill some few days ago and I went to the hospital uh, where I received uh, some treatments. You know, one thing that really happened was that I never planned about you know going to the hospital and because I do not have a Qatar ID, I came in here through the higher card. I have to pay through my nose to offset the hospital bill. Well, it's really not easy for me. Um, it's, it's difficult. So I was really on my way going out, uh, planning to travel out of uh, Qatar because I, I would have given up trying my best to see Dr. Zekir Naik. Now, there are three things I did when I came into this city. First, I went to the Islamic Center hoping that they can offer me virtual advice on how to meet Dr. Zakir Naik. What they told me there was not um, helpful. I was made to understand that there was no need of seeing Dr. Zakir Naik or meeting him. Then all the money I spent coming to Qatar to fulfill my dream, I thought actually went down the drain. I started to blame myself. So I also went to the Malaysian uh, embassy here in Qatar, in Doha, and uh, it was successful as well. You know, they were saying that the security details surrounding him might not allow him to, you know, um, see me or thereabout. I also went to the Qatari embassy or ministry itself to ask questions and tell them my situation. But the same thing keep going on. I hope it's not possible to say. So I cut my man off after finishing from the hospital. I said, okay, let me go back to my city and I booked my flight ticket because the other one was booked 31st of December. You know what it means? I have to stay until that time to be able to access that ticket. And I went back to ask them to bring it closer, like make it earlier that I wanted to travel out of the country, they asked me to pay about 6,300 real. That's about $2,000 a day about, you know. So it was so much for me because I don't have that type of money in my account. So I talked to them. So I booked a new ticket and I wanted to travel. Yesterday was a day I was supposed to leave this country. And I was just sitting on my couch thinking about what to do, especially the financial part of everything. And I was surprised I got a message from the son of Dr. Zakir Naik. First, I thought it was a scam, you know, some of these uh, very bad messages that people sent, knowing your challenges, especially when I asked your guys to help me come to Qatar. I got some fake messages that never replied to me, despite my challenges. So I replied to the message because I never want to like judge the person who sent the message. I said, okay, send me your number so that I can be able to reach you directly. So he sent his number and I called him. And to my greatest surprise, he was the son of Dr. Zakir Naik. Honestly, it was a very great moment because I never believed that dreams can come through many have really tried the best to see Dr. Zekanai, but with that success, I was very happy, elated. And you know what? He asked the driver to come pick me up from the free zone where I resided and bring me to this very large and beautiful place. And then asked me to stay here and promised to even help me with my flight ticket if there's a problem with it. In fact, I never told you guys that initially the message, the email contained 
information about helping me to fly into Qatar because he, he I, I don't think he knew I was already in Qatar. He was telling me about helping me get a visa and fly into Qatar to see Dr. Sakanaik. You know, those are people who really understand people's dream and really understand the power of someone dreaming that it's possible, anything is possible, provided Allah has decreed it for you. And that's my desire and I think Allah has actually made it come to pass. Well, I thank everybody, I thank all of you who have been praying for me because I know your prayers are part of the reason why things are happening this way. So I thank all of you for your prayers. I thank those who donated for my journey. I especially thank for Mr. Hito and uh, a couple of other guys like Lieberman who you know, out of their generosity, ensured that I am here today. I also once again want to thank Dr. Zakir Naik for allowing me to see him and fulfill my dream, take my shahada with him. It's really an amazing feat, honestly. I respect and ask God to keep him alive for us, to give him more health, to give him more wealth, you know, bless his children, bless his family, and bless the entire Muslim Umar. Thank you so much, guys. I'm going to be seeing Dr. Zakanak today. Thank you for watching.